this is a simple Spring application. It includes the definition for an interface. Its name is I Hello, Hello Student Service. An interface with one method, say hello to students. In addition, we can find the class that implements this specific interface. This is the class. It implements the interface I Hello Student Service so we can find the definition for say hello to students. In addition, this class has a property. Its name is message and it also has the set method message method, a method and uh, uh, other um, parts of the application can call and by doing so insert a specific value into this very specific variable. In addition we can find an XML file. Um, here it is, hello students.xml and if we check that XML file we can find that it actually announced um, uh, 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 on a new bean, its name is students greeting service, a new bean which is actually an object instantiated from this class, the class that we define, a class that implements the interface uh, I hello students service. In addition we can find um, the property XML element that actually place a value into the property message. So the property message the bean includes will now have this specific value. Uh, if we go to the main class, the standalone application, the, the, the class that includes the main method, a class we can um, execute as a simple standalone application, well here we can find a code that refers to the XML file we defined and based on that XML file we can get we can see that we actually get a bin factory object so the variable factory from now on um, actually holds a reference for a bin factory object an object uh, we can now um, use in order to get um, uh, the references for the various beans it uh, defines. This XML file, if you go over it, you can see the bean XML element. Well, we can place more than just uh, one XML element to announce the existence of more uh, of other beans so that uh, when we write our code, uh, based on that XML file, we will be able to get each and every bin. We just need to call the method getBin on the bin factory object and pass over the name of the of the bin of the very specific bin we want to to get. Uh, the getBin method simply returns a reference for uh, that uh, bin because we know that the exact type of that bin, I simply uh, cast the, the type of that reference, so uh, the variable service, uh, we can now actually use it to call the say hello to students method. Let's execute this code. Okay, so we want to execute uh, simple Java application, the class main class in our project. Let's execute. Yeah, and this is the outcome.